the headless revolution is underway. And what I am talking about is how this information is pushed to the Magento backend. The language of choice is generally GraphQL. GraphQL seems kind of obtuse, it's hard to learn, and it seems ridiculously complex. I mean, not as complex as SOAP, but there's a lot to it. In addition, Adobe has put GraphQL topics on the Master Architect test. So if you are wanting to crack this exam, there is no getting around the, necess the need for GraphQL knowledge. As such, our resident expert on Magento training uh, has pulled together this excellent resource, this course about GraphQL. And I could not be more excited about it because this, by taking this course, you will become the expert on GraphQL at your organization. Chris, why don't you give us a quick rundown as far as what, how does this course help you become the resident expert on GraphQL? Yeah, and that and that definitely is the the objective. I can't imagine uh, I can't imagine anybody on your dev team knowing more about GraphQL than you do if you go through this course. Uh, but but we have uh, in in the course if you're completely new to GraphQL, we have a whole chapter just dedicated to the basics of GraphQL. I know that's the, like the the boat that I was in, uh, but before I worked with GraphQL for my for my first project supporting a Magento PWA build, I hadn't encountered mm -hmm. it in any other tech stacks. Uh, I kind I kind of needed that primer, so that's in here. Uh, but then we basically get extensively into everything that is specific to the architecture in Magento. And there's a lot that's specific to the architecture in Magento, mm -hmm. just like just like Magento does with so many other things. <laughs> yes. Like they have their way of doing it, their, their right. way of plugging in uh, and, and everything. So so this is a course that has a ton of lessons uh, mm -hmm. with extensive written material explaining the architecture has. Uh, I think we have over 20 or about 20 videos, uh, walking through the specifics of things, walking through some deep dives where we're literally like debugging in Magento step by step through the code to see what Magento does and what the underlying PHP GraphQL library does and how those two work together. Uh, and, and then there's, we, we actually are hands on building a project in, in the nice. course as well. So, so we have some practical, like imaginary requirements that we're going to walk through with uh with kind of a bootstrap module that's been built, um, for building, ex exposing things in GraphQL for, for this specific imaginary feature. Uh, and, and we cover that there's a lot to unlearn, um, when it comes, if you're coming at, at GraphQL for the first time, a lot mm -hmm. to unlearn about your mentality from other more traditional API schemes. I know that like just through the course, of, of kind of researching this and putting this together. I discovered some things from, from mm. projects I've done where I was like, oh, I, I, really, I really should have approached this a little bit differently mm -hmm. um, with the flexibility that GraphQL and the GraphQL runtime has um, and kind of getting out of that single single entry point mentality that other APIs have. Uh, there's, uh, there's some extensive topics that aren't, aren't immediately apparent about Magento's GraphQL layer, like full page caching. That's something that I basically mm -hmm. encountered for the first time taking the master architect test and failed those questions, I think, uh, because I didn't know how caching plays into, into the GraphQL architecture and mm -hmm. requests. Um, so we walk through all of that and extensively cover all of it. And I think that like, if you are going to be supporting mm -hmm. a, a Magento PWA build or, or any other decoupled headless context, uh, it's easy to think that that like that you can just uh, just use you know Magento's native GraphQL endpoints for all the things you need, but I guarantee you that you're going to have to customize them, or you're going to have to build build a custom one. <laughs> That's uh, right. And and there's there's wrong ways to do it, and there's right ways to do it. So this uh, putting putting this course together like really really gave me confidence that I like have a firm understanding and firm grasp of of all this architecture and the best way to do things. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, I think that is well put, Chris, and that's what. Gets me excited because, you know, our our goal is uh, at Swift Otter is excellence in e-commerce engineering, and this course helps bring that excellence to life uh, to make sure that you know, like you said, there's right ways to do things and there's wrong ways to do things, and unfortunately, the learning curve often comes with those wrong wrong ways to do it, and if we can jump past that here with something like this course, then then it's a big win. Like if we can short circuit and there are wrong ways uh, to, work, to do it that might on the surface seem perfectly fine and yet they're not scalable, they're bad performance, et cetera. And especially at this level is a big, big deal. So um, all that to say, I am really excited about this course. Appreciate you putting together, Chris, and uh, excited about uh, what uh, how this has a 
tremendous impact on the developer community. It, it, uh, I'm excited to present it. It was honestly a, a blast putting this together uh, because I got <laughs> to learn a lot. Uh, yeah. and, and I found out, found out that it's an architectural layer in Magento that uh, makes sense once you get a handle on it, mm -hmm. um, which isn't, I can't always say that about every architectural layer in Magento. That's um, true. So, so using, using GraphQL, like when, once it kind of clicks, uh, these, these things make sense and it, and it's mm -hmm. it just, uh, it's satisfying to be able to build things the right way uh, with that architectural layer. Absolutely. Excellent. So head over to swiftauto.com to purchase your copy of the GraphQL course. You'll be very glad you did uh, as you become an expert in this subject.